Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope that you feel right at home as each week I try to shine a light on what people are doing with the Godot engine. Ever since the release of Godot for Stable, the quality of Godot tutorial content has been improving and this week is full of hidden gems. Please join me in supporting them so that we can grow the community together. Game Dev Journey. First up is Holly, who has updated his fantastic top-down 2D lighting tutorial for Godot 4. If you want to know how to implement beautiful lighting in your game using the latest version of Godot, then this is the tutorial to watch. Lighting has a big effect on the atmosphere of a game, and Holly does an excellent job of highlighting the changes from Godot 3 to 4. You can also learn more about the Godot game that he has in development called Crater Company by following the link in the description. Recreating classic games of the past is a great way to get into game dev and to learn the principles of best practice while recreating something well known, understood and loved. Khan Alpar is running a tutorial series where you can code along with him and create the classic Asteroids game in Godot 4. This is a great way to get started with Godot and there are already six episodes in the series. Go over to Khan's channel and start now. Perhaps you want to learn Godot 4 while creating your own epic strategy game. Well, if RTS games suit your style, then Lin Lo has plans to make his own one in Godot and he's going to share all the devlogs with us. While this is a devlog series and not a tutorial, I have no doubt that there is plenty to learn from and enjoy here, and I recommend subscribing to Lin Lo to follow all the progress. If you've been waiting for Godot 4 Stable to be released before deciding to jump in and start learning, then the right tutorial may have arrived for you. CG Pixels is running a tutorial series for beginners to Godot 4. There are already nine episodes in the series and it really is very thorough. If you want a non-intimidating way to learn the ins and outs of Godot 4 at your own pace, then head over to CG Pixels channel and subscribe so that you don't miss anything. Godot 4 has a lot of new features and one of them is a physics body which can be animated. This simplifies the process of adding moving platforms to your game and Agnes Nesvers is here to show you a few different ways to achieve this. Apart from this awesome tutorial, Agnes has a channel full of amazing Godot content. So this is certainly one to subscribe to and support to encourage him to make more stuff like this for the community. Tile maps have had a complete makeover in Godot 4 and more tutorials explaining how best to use it are coming out all the time. A98K has now made his contribution with the latest video explaining just how to use tile maps of the new version of Godot. It's a very detailed tutorial and represents A98K's first entry into the Godot tutorial scene. Please show your support by subscribing or dropping a comment to encourage the creator to keep sharing with us. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I do hope to see you all again next time.